You guys are gonna have to back up a little because I can't move any back anymore. There we go. So there's a couple ways to throw that money and uh hey, Nesto. is to uh step to the right, shift your weight down, kind of cock your hips out. Create the space with your shield by propping it out a little bit, and then rolling past. Okay, I'm gonna come around behind you for that same thing. Okay. So you're stepping, dipping your legs, shifting your weight forward. You're turning your hips a little bit to get that to get your uh, uh, I don't know momentum. Yep. To really cleave across when you come down like that, and when you come down. Your elbow is coming toward your body more. You're kind of flaring out to create that space a little bit. Well, you're even cocking your knee on that. A little bit, yeah. Can we get him maybe uh, bring it in so they can see what he's doing with his elbow? Yeah, specifically, because that, that's, yeah. Because the power on these shots too is kind of surprising when it hits you. Turnover, yeah. So you're stepping, your elbow's coming out, like you might be coming around for this for sure, after you do your fakes or whatever, and you're coming down. The elbow's coming out, and you're coming in with it a little bit. Not over so your your uh, your form is compromised, but just enough so it's straight and you're ready to come back out for maybe a block like this. And that's why you get hips on that, is because it's up instead of all the way over. Yeah, exactly. Another way, if they do have, if you're not able to fake them out of their form and they have a good block there, you know, you're not going to be able to do that if there's swords right there. One way to do that, to get around that though, is to dip a little lower, shoot your arm forward, and then turn that that wrist so your thumb is facing you know the top of your blade, and the top of that blade is what you want to be hitting that hit. So it goes around, kind of down, and then up and under their uh, their defense, their good form. So you're coming down and popping it. And when you're sword and board, one way to get past that, you know, if they're coming in deep, you know, you don't have to shield it up over there. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, you'll be throwing and then something will be coming over there that you're not expecting. So you'll throw it out there, you know, just, oh shit, you know what I mean? But good form, you only really need to come out like this and give yourself enough space to get your full swing in there. You don't need this whole thing like that to get your swing. All you need is about this much space if you turn your hips over to get the, the amount of uh, force you need to really pop under their guard and make a, a, a legal shot, right? So you're coming down and you're popping over. That shield is staying right there. You might yeah. cock it out a little bit. If you're coming down like this, that angle's there for them to hit you in the shoulder. If you flare it out like this, give yourself the space to shoot out and then come back over, that angle is no longer there. It goes off the side and your board is covered. If they angle what, it up, you know, all that's there is your head. You have zero shoulder. You moved your body with that too. Yeah. You just cocked your body a little bit. So what's happening there when the combination, the level change, the, the, the step over, Xion is essentially leaving his board where he was just a second ago. Right, so that's yeah. what makes it, as his opponent, very difficult to time my counter, is because this is this big target, almost, right? And he keeps it relatively where he just was a second ago. However, his body has moved, right? So this is still relatively in the same place. I'm still getting positive reinforcement from hitting an object, right? Unfortunately, the, op the target that I really want to hit is over here now, right? So the step with the combined level change makes it extremely difficult. And to add to that, he's throwing at a crazy weird angle and it's just not intuitive to just go, ha, chop down, it's not. Can you show us the center line? Cause he's so far across the center line when okay. he throws this. So to illustrate that point, Xion right now is on my center line, right? Center line being the line, if you drew an imaginary invisible line from my nose to his nose, right? As he starts his shot, he sinks low 
and he moves his body. Now he is off my center line, but what's still there? The shield. The shield is still on my center line. And so instead of anticipating where Xion is going to be, nine times out of 10, people throw where he just was, which is right where his shield is now, if that makes sense, right? So we start, he goes, boom. Yeah. Uh, there was a request for dark side counters. And let's see, we need to say hi to Ruben and Ernesto and Selve. Hey. Andre, Andre's in here too. So dark side counters. To counter the dark side being thrown? Uh, let's see, that was Jeremy's question. Okay. Jeremy, cool. shoot something out more specific if we're not doing what you're looking for, man. All right, so you want to do how you counter it? Yeah. I'll do how I counter it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm usually right here anyway. Right so like Xion's in a sword foot forward stance, what's traditionally referred to as like the offensive yeah. stance. Yeah. So if I get it thrown on me, it's coming right here. My guard's usually right there anyway. All I have to do is do the normal step and hit him in the back, you know? If they, switch they don't leave it out there, you know, sometimes they'll come down and their sword will be right here away just for that reason so they don't get it trapped. But when they do get it trapped, come around and you go right there, you get the block with your sword, right? Because that's where it, it should be hitting, is your sword if it's on that level. Replace the block with your shield so that this can come out and this is still trapped. And hit him there, or you can go under it and hit him there if you're taking that, if you're taking that deep step in to get it. Do you want to see the center line on that one? On the counter on that? Sure. Or let's throw it maybe, we'll throw it at full speed and then we'll throw it slow. Okay. We'll do an angle. And if you can bring this around to see, show what's happening here. Yep. As Xion steps in, he times it. It's a timed counter, right? So your timing has to be on point, as well as your footwork, as always, right? But you see what he's doing? He's got his hand, his sword, and his shield, which is actually stuffing my dark side into me. So my arms are essentially crossed at this point. They're like this, right? And as he moves in, he replaces the block with his shield, freeing up his sword arm, and he wraps around to the back, the butt, the hip, whatever he wants. So it's a kind of a trapping, trapping counter there. Okay, and you wanted to show one? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, so one that I've been working on lately and that I, I'm finding really successful is to try and draw out that dark side Right, so as they dark side, so I'll take a step back, taking myself out of range, and then as this sword either hits my shield or they find that they're not in range and they go back, I'll step in and I'll swing down at their hip. And you notice you have to flare out the shield in order to throw the dark side. So let me get you. When he throws it, go ahead, throw it, and he goes back. There's still this space between his shield and his hip. There's still this amount of space. Delos turned me on to this, if I'm being honest with y'all, as he does most things. Turn me on, that is. Um, <laughs> but I'm trying to attack this space that when he brings this back, is there for just a second. And I do it by stepping forward and throwing a shallow wrap, right? So. And you did that shield foot forward. Yeah, I mean, either, either one works, right? Okay. I tend to fight um, the opposite of Xion. I tend to fight shield foot forward, the defensive stance. Really and honestly, you should practice both at all times. Um, you shouldn't negate or try to nullify any other tool in your toolbox, right? So, Davos Xion is, throws that, proud, by the way. I go back, he throws it, whatever, and then I come in and I attack that. Um, I'll even take a step off if the angle's not there, if he's being really quick about it. I'll swing in that way, right? So it's like... I'm gonna, I, I throw me. I can't hit water. Throw for this hit. Yeah, that's good. Do it again. Do it again. Look at that. I don't throw. In comparison to my head. All right. I'll throw. Throw it again. No way. 
Even that. If you can't throw it, you never move your to throw it. So in other words, like as you're here, when your foot touches, that's when your hand's close enough. So if you throw it like, it's very, it's very like game of inches kind of thing. If I throw it from here while I'm stepping, it's not going to work. It has to be when you land, right? Also, that lowers your level, right? So if you're, if you're stepping and you're throwing, you're too high. If you land, you throw, you're low enough. Again. The boy so spin. Yeah, but all you have to know is if my foot's not on the ground, I should not be throwing. You can't really throw with your foot's in the air. All right. Hopefully, y'all caught that. Um, like I said, this is an instructional night, so I.